Here's problem 18. It says the figure represents a ramp. Okay, we've got a ramp going down here with handrail. Segments A, B, and D, E are parallel. So I know this guy right here and that guy right there are parallel. Parallel to G, H. Uh, all three of these are parallel, which is what it looks like. Segments B, C, and E, F are parallel to H, J. So these going down here are all parallel to one another also. We should make two arrows, but that's okay. Segments A, G, and B, H are parallel to line segment C, J. So A, G, and B, H are parallel to that. So everybody's parallel that looks parallel. These guys going down are parallel to one another, and all these rails, as we would expect, they're all sticking perfectly up vertically. It says if the measurement of angle JCB, well, let's find J, then to C the B, J to C to B is 115. They already labeled it for us. What is the measurement of C to B to A? So we now want that measurement right in there. Well, let's figure things out. Well, knowing that these are parallel and these are parallel, obviously I have a 90 degree angle right there. So I do see that right away. Everybody's 90 up here in the corners. Well, let's figure out what this angle right here is, because that angle plus the 90 will add up to the entire angle that you and I are searching for. So if this is 115, and knowing this and this are parallel, um, if you want it, again, we can always pretend to extend these lines. And if that's 115, then I know this is 65 right here. 115 over here, 65 right here. I could pick these up and move them here, which makes it 65, 115, 115, 65. Now I could do the same thing again. This 115, 65 is going to extend to right here. This is going to be 65, and then up top would have been 115 if it had continued like that. But either way, I know I have 90 and 65, and 90 and 65 makes 155, which gives me choice D. Now, the other thing is, is as soon as I look at these answers, I know it's 155. This is going like this. It then just bends down just a little bit. You know that's almost 180. That angle opening right there is almost 180 degrees. Well, what's close to 180? 155. None of these would make any sense. 65, 190, 115? No, because it wants to know the measurement basically of the angle CBA, C to B to A, that right there, which basically goes like that. And you should be able to look at that and say, oh, it looks like 155. So even just looking at it, you would be able to think it through and see what the answer is. There's problem 18 for you.